Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Palacios, and I am here with a presentation on low back pain, also known as lumbago. The reason I am doing this presentation is because back pain is one of the most common chronic diseases in the world, or one of them, uh, but it's the number one cause of disability in the world. So I think it's a good topic to talk about and also let you know that it's not as simple as it seems to be. So let's get started. I also want to let you know about this disclaimer about the following presentation being only for educational purposes. You're going to see information that you might want to try on your own, but please consult with your healthcare practitioner first. This is only for information, education, uh, and I'm not responsible for any action or inaction that you decide to take on your own health without medical supervision or proper su supervision. To tell, you a little, to tell you a little bit about myself, I'm a naturopathic doctor from the University of Bridgeport in Connecticut, UBCNM. I am bilingual in English and Spanish. I have a certification in cranial sacral therapy and I tend to focus a lot on neck pain, headaches, and migraines. So back pain is somewhat related to this type of situations. And my training involves a lot of specialized training in effective and safe natural therapies. So objectives and goal. This is quite a list, but again, I will go over it one by one so you understand what's going on. And this is also for everyone, not just for uh, nurses or people who understand medical language, but it's also for the common layman to understand what is going on when they have back pain. We're going to start with definition of low back pain or lumbago, which is another word, anatomy. Uh, so where is it? If etiology of lumbago, so where does it What's the cause of back pain? Pathophysiology, so what's going on? Signs and symptoms, so what are you experiencing? Differential diagnosis, what else could it be besides back pain? Uh, sequelae, which means what else could happen if you don't treat back pain? Conventional approach, so what would your conventional doctor do for back pain? And then naturopathic approach, this is part of my expertise into what naturopathic medicine can do for people who have back pain. And then I have a word on classical medicine, which is a type of uh, discipline I have studied for a few, a few years. 